Hi everyone, Arturo Picasso here. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm making this video to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments, all the emails that I've gotten. Thank you guys very much. Uh, I have noticed that a lot of you guys have been watching but not subscribing. Shame on you guys. So, uh, if you want to subscribe, more than likely I'm going to tag your house. So, so subscribe. Um, What's another thing? Oh, today's tutorial is going to include some, uh, some a little bit unique with a little more feeling to it. Uh, it's going to be a simple tutorial, but uh, I do hope you guys like it. All right, you guys are ready? Let's get started. Let's get started. All right, everybody. This is going to be a beginner level uh, painting. So we're going to do this a space painting. Uh, most space paintings are beginner levels, uh, but they're also very important because they cover a lot of the fundamentals and a lot of the techniques that we use. Um, in this case, I'm just pla placing my, my uh, planet stencils throughout my painting. I have a pretty good idea of how I want my, pla my planets to look. Now, this is going to be a little different the way I put the paint down. Uh, this is what I use, especially if I'm in a hurry to get you know, uh, more space paintings out. Not only that, it keeps the, the viewers interested in what you're doing. You know, to them you're just spray, spraying uh, random colors throughout your painting. This is important as well, especially if you're spray painting live, because you want uh, the clients, you want the audience to, to be mesmerized to what you're doing. You know, to them it looks like you're just spraying random colors. And maybe perhaps we are just a little bit, huh? Here I added several colors, as you can tell. Uh, I'm putting my base colors, which is the black and the white, on top. And I'm just going to give these planets different textures. Now you can use the magazine sheets. In this case, I'm just using my fingers. Um, again, this is just for speed purposes, uh, especially if, if speed is important to you. you know, If you have uh, several viewers out there that want different paintings and they're kind of hurrying you, well, this is just a simple thing that you can do. Next comes where do you want your sunlight coming from? In this case, once you decide, I'm going to use a little bit of white. And this is a technique that I've used in some of my planets to make them more cylindrical, uh, perhaps look a little more 3D. Um, I've used this also, I've done a few paintings with uh, bowling balls and baseballs and you just add a touch of white. The same technique that I've used in some of my bubble techniques and bubble paintings. So we went ahead and added just a little bit of white, put our planet stencils on top. In this case we'll do that one here and the smaller one down here. Make sure you get some of that black from the shadow and light from the light source. Okay. Now it is important that you cover uh, your planets with the black surrounding them pretty good. That way it makes your planets very cylindrical now notice how I left a little bit of those colors in between the planets. That's okay, guys. That's going to be our space nebula. A little bit of orange. You want to add some bright colors to this. Orange, green, maybe blue, red. Uh, colors that stand out. Right? Now with the black, I'm going over my planets so that they're perfectly round. It's very important. You don't want the colors from your planets to just kind of mesh in with the other colors from your nebula. Then comes my uh, stars. You guys remember how to do that? 45 degree angle away from the painting and very gently tap on the cap and it'll just sputter down on the, on, the, on the canvas. It's a lot easier when the can is used because when it's new, oh boy, there's a lot of pressure behind that can. I'm working on the, on the colors of the ground now. So I'm going to use some bright colors, in this case just blue and I'm going to cover it with my neutral color which will be black right so then I'm going to use a magazine sheet to create the terrain on the bottom now notice I started off with the peak on the top well that's going to be one of the high points or highlights of this painting so I created my terrain I created the, the highlight of this painting now I'm going to add another layer of ground. The way you do that is you use black 
and then you remove the blue or I mean the black from the blue and it'll give you the perception that there's another layer of ground closer to you and you can do this as many times as you want now with the spray castle tool I'm gonna add some highlights and also some contours to this painting so not only am I scratching the highlight I'm also with the straight edge part of the, the spray castle tool removing some of the black to create the effect of uh, maybe a landslide with the back of the tool it's a little sharper so I'm gonna create just a little stick figure of a person standing there like I said you know this is gonna be a, a different type of a, a painting it's gonna give you uh, some more perceptions make you wonder a little bit more so we're gonna add a little character here at the very edge of this cliff now uh, there's several ways of doing this character you can either scratch him or you can use the spray castle funnel to create him but being that this is a beginner level tutorial I believe scratching him works just as well I went ahead and added some stars right now here at the bottom using a little bit of clear coat just to keep the paint the painting moist I'm gonna create a space castle I am such a sci-fi freak you know I've watched all the Star Wars and so I definitely definitely enjoy making uh, space sceneries just gonna create a little castle here with maybe some stairs coming down from it you would think that you know this is such a sci-fi painting that they wouldn't need stairs but perhaps they need the exercise huh? so we'll make some stairs just coming alongside this cliff perhaps that's where a character comes from here at the very top maybe some more stairs perhaps it's not stairs perhaps it's a radio antenna it's your imagination guys have fun with it think outside the box a little bit make some random uh, antennas coming out okay you guys remember the force field technique we get a flexible straight edge in this case a poster board and I'm just gonna spray you're gonna bounce the spray paint off of it not directly into your spray paint but you're just gonna bounce it off and it'll give you that fading effect on your force fields nice now that's the same technique that we use in some of our most advanced paintings to create lighting effects let's take a look at our planets look at that and there you have it folks another spray castle masterpiece in just a few minutes I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial let's take a closer look at some of these details on our planets huh? see our little character there at the top of the the cliff the rock very cool alright folks hope to see you again next week till next time